Hello everybody and welcome back to the Mega Modded Dead God Plus series. We are jumping in again and I've really got that intro down now, haven't I? It's kind of locked in, so I imagine when I have to do something that isn't that intro, it's going to be really horrible and I'm going to end up saying the wrong thing a bunch. When's the last time we played Blue Baby? We've got a bit to do with Blue Baby, let, let, let's give him a go. I think we played as him kind of recently, but at this point I'm kind of down for a Blue Baby run. Ooh, also... Being able to one-shot the poops uh, from the mod I was talking about last episode is going to be really, really nice for this guy. Um, it's going to save ourselves a hell of a lot of time shooting poops. I like that a lot. Of course, last time we had it on uh, Tainted as Hazel, so it didn't really make too much of a difference. But this guy, this time around, one-shotting poops, one-shotting fires. Ooh, it's all good. It's all good. And we get the blank, which is a soul heart, which is kind of nice. Uh, I'm probably going to get hit here. Oh, no, I'm good, I'm good. Uh, clears bullets and slows enemies upon damage. Yeah, I mean for me just getting the soul heart is pretty darn good Of course we start off with petrified poopers this guy pretty good stuff. Can I like eh, eh, eh. <laughs> I was trying to get that in there. Uh, hopefully you get some bombs. That'd be really nice Kind of an interesting room there Just a bit of pretty design with the poopies pretty pretty design with the poopies uh, Let's continue forward Come on, give us give us just a little bomb. But today, I am I am in a good mood. I have made some quiche. I can't remember if I was speaking about it in the last episode or not, but I've made some quiche. I've made multiple quiches actually. I've been I've basically eaten quiche for the past like six meals. It's not been great. <laughs> um, well, no, it has been great, but for my health, it's not been great. I suppose it's it's been crustless quiche, so it's relatively low calorie. It's not like crazy, but still, <laughs> it's um. I basically I had a quiche. Oh damn you! I had a quiche like a week ago, two weeks ago, and I was like, damn, I love quiche. I haven't had this in so long. Why haven't I been making this? I have a cast iron skillet, as many of you will know, um, and they are really good for making simple quiche. So I tried making one, and it ended up going really, really well. Um, it's. In my first time making something like that, and it's just, it's just, I don't know, it turned out way better than I expected. So, question of the day today is related. I hope I haven't asked this before. At this point, I have no idea whether I asked them before or not. Leave me some uh, questions of the day in the comments. I'll use some of your guys. Uh, oh, is this the one I turned to the keeper, isn't it? Um, my question of the day today is, what's the fi what's your favourite food that you've made? What's your favourite thing that you've, you've made from scratch yourself? Something that you're really proud of turned out really, really well. I've definitely got a few in my docket that I've been, like, really, really proud of. My brownies and cookies are... I, I've kind of perfected them now. They're pretty they're pretty top-notch, in my opinion. Do you know what? Let's do this. I should have really done this earlier, uh, when there was more enemies. But there's actually a good amount of enemies in this room, so... There you go. I'll come back for all of that crap. Hoping I can get. What, why didn't. Okay, why didn't the first two drop pennies? Is it because the fly killed them? It's kind of rude. Range up. Do we get another room out of this or is this boss room time? Why the hell am I meant to be going here? Was this a dead end? This was a dead end. Oh, and it switched right at the end there. God damn it. It's okay, it's okay. I was hoping I could get one more room out of it, but it would have only been two pennies, anyways. Okay, let's just quickly duck back into here because there was a bunch of poop that we can destroy. I was waiting until the room cleared because we can destroy him in one hit, which makes me very happy. Honestly, what a lovely change. What a lovely change. But yeah, I think another one that I was really proud of when I made it the first time was um, lasagna. I haven't made that in a really long time, actually, but that was one that I was like, I didn't think I'd be that good at it because it is kind of complicated. I mean, I mean, it did take me like an entire day to make it. Um, it took quite a long time. Ooh. Doubles all trinket spawns, gulp one. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Um, especially considering it's basically a guaranteed gulp for um, Petrified Poop, which is really convenient as this guy. Um, come on. I was going to say, come on, give me a bomb. And it did. Technically, it did. Um, oh, you. You little hussy. Okay, don't worry. We, we only lost the HP that we were uh, given from our item. And our item's still good. I'm destroying these poops just to get the... Uh, just to get the flies. <laughs> You're actually creating the things that kill you. But that was kind of one of those uh, one of those meals where it was something my mum used to make. My mum's a fantastic cook. And it's something that my mum used to make a lot. Um, and 
hers was just like pretty darn amazing. Um, where are we meant to be going here? We're meant to be going mother, so we'll go to mother. Um, we haven't done mother yet, have we? No, we haven't. Um, yeah, and I, I always thought hers was like pretty damn amazing because like I said, she's just a really good cook anyways. And um, so when I tried it and it kind of was as good as hers, I was like, damn. Damn, this one well. <laughs> and I was, I was really proud of that. And of course, um, what, one thing I really like is um, my girlfriend isn't a particularly good cook. Um, and Bai isn't a particularly good cook. I mean, she's a pretty terrible cook. Um, which... Oh. Hmm. I think I have to take stitches. I like, I like having the poop here. But stitches is so good. Um... Because just, just for this room on its own, I was already like, hell yeah. But also, it lets us get into our cash rooms for free and stuff, so. Pretty top tier. Pretty top tier. Okay, good, good, good. Yeah. Um, I gotta say, and so I didn't really think I'd be able to make it to the same standard, especially for my first attempt. And like I said, it ended up being like, kind of like a whole ordeal. I had like the day off work and I basically spent from like, from what, what was like, I think like 1pm until like 7pm making it, which sounds kind of ridiculous and it definitely shouldn't take that long normally. I just didn't really know what I was doing and I'm pretty sure I did one step wrong. I can't remember if it's called a bechamel. Is it a bechamel that you make? It's the thing where you do like the um, the flour and the milk um, and the butter. Is it butter? Fl flour, milk, and something or other. And you make mix it into like a paste, and then you mix that in with the uh, with with the rest of the milk, and it kind of creates this sort of oh god, there's a there's a gap there. It creates this kind of like thick sort of cream. I don't I don't, I don't know exactly how to describe it, but it, it's not particularly easy to make. Queen of Hearts. Queen of Hearts. Do you know what? Queen of Hearts is relatively useless right now. But if we get lucky with a second secret room, it could it could have its day. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna actually take some time to take a little look around for where our second secret room could be. There you go. Just because yeah, if we get That's exactly what I was hoping for. Obviously one that drops soul hearts or black hearts would have been better. But this is plenty good. Plenty good. <laughs> that is uh, that is how you utilize that card on a character that can only have soul hearts. Pretty good shit. Okay, again, you've kind of created your own demise here um, by oh god, this fly did not die by dropping a bunch of poops that can create uh, flies for me to use against you. Can you stop creating ones that have flies around them, though? It's particularly annoying. This is actually kind of a rough boss for us right now. I'm going to use a bomb. Oh, dude. Your roly poly little shithead hit me. Stop spawning all the poops that have flies around them. It's very annoying. Eternal flies are rough. I don't want to use my next bomb here, but I might be tempted because this is taking a while. D the flies. Dude, thank God I got all that HP just then because otherwise this would have been quite the shit show. Okay. Didn't go too bad in the end. We got creatine powder as well. And we can check out the devil deal. Uh, I'll take demon baby, why not? Um, And away we go. Away we go. But yeah, like I was saying, because um, cause my girlfriend's, like, really not a good cook, um, it's always more exciting to cook for her. That was really bad. Why did I even do that? I have stitches, you fool. Health up, and something's wrong. Um, yeah, because cause she's not a very good cook, she's always, like, very appreciative of my cooking. Um, what the hell does this do again? Is this just the one that spawns the fitches on the ground? Finches, Fitches, I don't know how to pronounce them. Um, yeah, so I gotta say, I, I, I never, I never let her cook. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, also, okay, it is. I think, I think these things can give you money or take away. They can have like a higher reward, but also a chance for um, 
more problems. Also, they can drop from enemies dying, as you can see. But on that one there, I lost literally all my money. I'm down to zero now. Um, a Repentance Plus thing's actually showing up. All Sin mini bosses have a 100% chance to drop their respective Sin jewels. A ghost can spawn in a secret room or super secret room that will disappear and spawn a random Sin mini boss. When approached, the ghost will also spawn in the doorway that leads to a mini boss room, alarming you of what mini boss is inside. Interesting. I, I definitely want that. It seems cool. And we haven't seen Repentance Plus items in so long. Thank you for fixing that bug to the developer. Um, so... Yeah, I, I do want to go for that, but at the minute I want to make sure that I've got, like, the items to do it. So I'm hoping to get, like, another Devil Deal locked in, so I've got a little bit more power to go at that with. I definitely have the, enough health to make it work. I don't have to worry about that, really. Yeah. I need to use uh, Stitches for combat a little more, both in terms of the contact damage it can produce, but also in terms of doing what I just did there and getting behind an enemy. But yeah, we just got a Clot Heart here, so we've got a Clotty Boy on our side. For, really, really nice for us. We're up to 19 now. Okay, don't take any more of the fitches till we've been for our uh, shop now. Okay, that's not secret room, surprisingly. I did pick one up there that I didn't really mean to. These uh, back thingy buckets are getting in my way, so just move them out of the way. Yeah, we are going to be a true gambler this room. That's a, that's a lot to gamble with. Still, I, I didn't realise that I didn't replace all coins. We're still getting regular coins here. Because as you can see on the mini-map there, they do count as coins. They drop very regularly. Ooh, one thing to note is our, our clot buddy did not teleport with us then. It's worth remembering. Okay, so we go here. We'll get the Edgeless Cube battery. That's really good. Um, and then let's just pick up all of these. So we went down one, down another. There's our mirror room. We'll see what our boss is. I might do the mirror room. Down to zero. Up to one, up to 16, seven, th this is going to be wild. <laughs> this is going to be wild. Okay, this guy might not be so hard, although we don't have bombs, which I would have hoped for for this fight. If he jumps, it becomes, oh wait. Okay, okay, okay. We've actually got kind of a strat here. I just realized the Edgeless Cube Battery triggers upon, um... okay, we've got Speedball here. Edgeless Q battery triggers upon us pressing space, uh, upon us using our active. So what we can actually do is we can teleport to an enemy and that'll activate Edgeless Q battery. Obviously, we've got to be a little careful because uh, teleporting around is going to get us hurt from time to time. I will take this. Seems, this seems really interesting. Wait. Oh, I can't use my space bar in here. I never n noticed it disabled using your space bar in here. I should have realised that a lot sooner, probably. But Demon Baby plus uh, Little Delirium, actually not that bad at all. I really like both of them. Okay, get my Clotty in line again. I was wondering why I lost so much damage there. It's because um, that move that he did there moved my Clot away. Whoa, look, at, look at this. Edgeless Cube Battery is insane. For a shop item... I think it's way too good. Like, it's, it's it's not like it's a really, really good familiar, but it's so offensively strong for something that's in the shop, which normally, obviously, as most of you know, the shop doesn't provide too much offensive capabilities apart from the odd items. So I do think it's a little bit too strong for uh, the shop, but still. But yeah, we got a cool item here. So now with this setup, we want to be trying to find our secret room, which I presume to be here. It's not. I mean, to be fair, it's almost definitely uh, here instead, but there you go. It is what it is. Um, was there a reroll machine in our shop? I don't think there was, but I will check. There was not. Okay. I think we can vamoosh. We'll give ourselves... Um, ooh, hello. Um, give key piece one. We don't need to do the... No, wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. Not key piece one. Remove. Give knife piece one. There you go. Wait, did that give me it? Wait, what? I'm confused. Oh, I kept it as remove. Give. There you go. Down we go. Down we go. 
We got a lot of good stuff from that room there. Hey, same same room again. Nice. But yeah, we, we've actually got a really good combo with stitches here. We teleport. It activates that. Oh, we're down to 10 now. I don't know where my uh, where my stitches has gone. Oh, there he is. There he is. I don't even need to be near the enemy. I just, like, activate it in vicinity. That's... This is a really good combo. I like this a lot. Okay. Um, Hop in here real quick. See what's what. Not much going on there, to be honest. Because it's going gonna, it's gonna to hit enemies across the room regardless. Especially when it's smaller, weaker enemies. Such as... Oh, it took me down to zero. Here's some money back, though. Don't worry about it. Kind of using stitches here to grab the golden coins. It's not the best uh, methodology, really. I'll keep it at the other side of the room there. There you go. Just get us up to 15. I'm happy. Try and go to our shop before pick picking up any of the uh, poker chips. I'm just going to call them poker chips from now on, because... I don't know how to say the other word. I don't gamble. People probably realize why I don't gamble. It's because in gaming, I have the tendency to gamble a lot. Um, ooh, 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 ooh. I actually really like this item. This item's one of those ones where it's like, if it just had the on-hit effect, it'd kind of be trash. But they did. A, uh, the developer did a really good job of making it an item that you actually really want to see. Because it, it does so many little things that combine to good things. So you get the on-hit ghosts, like that, which I think are actually really good. Uh, using a slot machine, a fortune teller, set of chance to not consume a coin. Nice. Um, bad options. Nah, bad options always screws me over. I'm not going to take that for now. Potato's not very good either for us here. That's really, 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 really good. Oh my god, that's insanely good. Because now we can hold two trinkets that will get smelted. And I think our trinkets spawn as pairs. That's going to be top tier. Oh, also... Ooh. If we use stitches regularly while it's charging, we get a damage boost. I like that. That's really nice. We got up to 15 again here. Okay, let's grab that. Just want the speed up, really. That was a mistake and a half. But yeah, so you, what I was saying is you get, like, the, the ghost on hit. But on hit effects aren't that good. So you get the, um... You get the... Eternal Heart spawning in pairs. Which, on its own, isn't that good. Because Eternal Hearts aren't that common. Um, but on top of that... You get... The, um, some bombs will be ghost bombs. And it's like all three of those small little things that individually wouldn't make a very good item. Together make a pretty cool item. I really like it. I love this. I love this run. This run's got some real sauce to it. This run's got some real sauce to it. I should go back and do the other rooms. To be fair, I'm, I'm kind of on the hunt for mini bosses now at this point. Okay, let me just drop these trinkets here and get them out of the way of the door. Because it's very annoying that I keep walking through that door and picking up the wrong trinkets. <laughs> Still on zero. I got a negative on every single one of those pickups. And another negative. I think it is literally just a flat 50-50. I'm not 100% sure on that, but seems to be. Gonna get hit in bad ways from time to time. But we have some really good on-hit effects now. We have the ghosts, the slowing, the clearing tear, uh, clearing the tears off the screen. It's all quite nice. It's all quite nice. Keep forgetting that we do have petrified poop still. I need to be destroying poops when I get the opportunity. Right, where do we go? We can actually get into our boss trap room from our secret room here. I should go and do that. Hello, boss trap room. How are you? We've still got our little clot boy as well. And eye drops. What a great pickup. 
Look at that damage. Oh my lord. Beautiful. I love the fact that, like, now intermittently we get a stat upgrade. Like, we're so... At this point, we are so, like... Um... It's so advantageous to take full advantage of stitches whenever possible, like literally as it comes off cooldown. Because we get the edgeless cube battery damage. We get the teleport itself to reposition or telefrag, if we can get the telefrag in, in time. And now on top of that, we actually get a brief stat upgrade while it's charging. Which, of course, if we play it right, we can keep it off charge for a very long time. It's really cool. I really like this setup. I basically want to be, like, having it so my active automatically activates all the time. Gasoline is a great pickup here. Grab that real quick. Devil deals are coming hot and fast as well. Ooh, hoo, hoo, empty vessels are great one. Thank you. Um, especially when it costs a single, a single soul heart. Uh, right, now we need to go back this way. There's a ghost bomb there for us. Good stuff. And down we go. Nice. Through we go. I love the fact that Stitches give you those iframes to do that. Excuse me. Damn it, we're getting really unlucky with the poker chips right now. Oh, ho, ho, you're dead. Get destroyed. Okay, that one actually gave us a positive there. That's good. Oh, I've got flight, haven't I? I forget that with Empty Vessel, I'll have constant flight. It's just going to be a slightly disorientating from time to time now. Only slightly. Just trying to keep an eye on, like, where I actually am once I move. I didn't want to fire things, as you can see, I've got um, Bob's brain right now. Uh, Whipworm and the the tooth, which doesn't work. I'll take Whipworm. I think Whipworm in the long run is going to be better for us. Check out the shop. Oh, I really want 9 volt. Although, I don't know, because it mean the faint bulb isn't going to be triggering as often. So maybe it's not that good, but I, I don't know. I'll see if I can get it. We'll see if we... We'll see if the, the poker chips go our way. Not a secret room, surprisingly. Actually, of course it's not a secret room. I didn't look at the map. Let's take out this fella. Oh god, I teleported on top of the spikes there and then immediately remembered, oh yeah, I have flight. Back up to 10, nice. I think I got Bob's brain on him there by accident. Oh god. It's okay, we got the ghosts involved. I like that. Okay, nice. Not too bad of a fight there. Cat and Nine Tails is incredible. Good stuff, good stuff. Damn you! Back down again. <laughs> the game, it trolls me. Ow. That time I just walked into a fire. Oh, no, I got up to 18, and then I took another one. No, no. I didn't want to do this, but I guess... Wait, can I just leave? Oh, I can, okay. <laughs> didn't mean to go through that. I can't believe I got up to 18 cent and accidentally took another green one and removed all that sweet, sweet progress. Up to five. Up to six. Oh my god, it's all coming together. Oh, down to five again. <laughs> yeah. Just one of you. Easy enough to deal with. Down to four. Ooh, one, one closer to spun. Nice. Up to nine. Oh my god. I, th I, think, I, think that's our, I think that's our lot though, isn't it? C 
secret room? Where could secret room be? I'm not actually sure, you know. Kind of an odd one. Um, okay, let's let's try out this one first. Okay. Now I'm not 100% sure. There is one place that's always a bit of a weird one that it could definitely be in. Sometimes you get this. No. How bizarre. Okay. I'm going to use a lot of bombs here trying to figure this out. Okay, so there's second secret room. Nice. There's the money we needed. Beautiful. I'm going to go buy it. It gives less time for fainted bulb, but I think... Yeah, this this is going to be really good for Edgel's cube battery. We are going to be on a roll with that thing. A stitches run is always fun. Stitches run is always fun. Stitches run is always fun. And more trinkets there that we don't really care about. Okay. Let's get gone. Uh, we need to give ourselves our knife piece too. And then we do need to sacrifice some HP to get through here. That's not a problem. Back up on a little bit of cash here. This is good stuff. This is good stuff. Oh god. <laughs> Don't use it in this room. Just, just, just forget about it. Because I'm just going to keep teleporting straight into these. In fact, this floor is probably going to be pretty useless. To be honest. Where's the last enemy? Is there another enemy? The room's over. Okay. Fair enough. Solar cane. Flip. Oh. No. I, I like flip, but this is... This setup that we've got right now is too fun. I like it too much. Flip really is a very, very good item and, and potentially a hell of a lot better for us right now. But I really like... What the hell's going on with that guy? I really like what we've got going on. Really? I've got no money now. Thank you for that. Secret room? Da -da 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 -da. No. Literally just spam Edgeless Q battery. Make sure we're out of the way of the enemy. Get the uh, electricity flowing. There's got to be... Having situational awareness is very, very important right now. Because it's very difficult to kind of see where I am and where I'm meant to be. It's it, like I've got to keep a very close eye on where Stitches is. Very good grab there for us. It just, it refreshes so fast. We get like two seconds between each usage. Nice. And just look at it. It's just incredible. Literally like so many lasers. Holy hell. Same with having a laser filled there there. Right, where's our shop? And our item room actually. We're missing both. Ow. Good on you I guess. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, that was a horrible room. Hey, we finally got a sin. After getting that item ages ago and not, not getting a single sin. We're getting hit a lot here. Grants you a moderate boost until you get hit. I'll certainly take that. And honestly, let's just pop this. Slip rib. Nah. Take baby, baby, baby. Another room I don't think we should be using it on too much. But I cannot help myself. Hey, here's Greed as well. We don't actually need to use his, um, his gem. His gem's good, don't get me wrong. But minus look for money when we've already got this much money. And good potential of getting a lot more. Definitely liking the stat boost we got right now. 
I doubt it'll be sticking around for too long. Oh my lord, I thought they'd stopped when I uh, pressed the button. That was very untrue. In fact, I think we should play the hell out of this. For one, double trinket payouts, but also I would like at least a single soul half the amount of money that we're putting into this thing. Instead of just countless fortunes, but it's looking like countless fortunes, isn't it? Oh god, really? 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 Okay, you gave me one at least. Oh, we did get this. This is good. It gave us a soul heart. There you go. It's all, it's all good in my books. Uh, we'll take that, and we'll take that. And then we also got... Do you know what? Okay, this worked out fantastically, actually. We even got a zealot heart in there, too. I'll take it now. I'm probably going to lose it, but I'll take it now. Okay, good stuff. That was a, a very, very lucrative room, actually. I actually think this is going to be a very hard boss to not get hit on, but we'll try our darndest. Oh, we just got invincibility. You still... You're still attached. Oh, God, that's a lot of fire. That, 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 the fire that was created there by gasoline, insane. <laughs> insane. Ooh, pentagram, nice. Okay, damage becoming like over 10 now definitely is helping our cause. We'll grab all of these, see what money we end up on. We ended up on three. Oh, we've got a secret room revealed that we never entered over here. I should go and check that out. I'd rather see a sin spawn in one of the secret rooms. Damn you, Sins, where are you? Okay. Good to go. Zealot Heart can hopefully provide us with a nice one to get in something or other. And away we go. We've also now got pay to play, so if we get some money, we can um, re-roll our item room item. We got um, Infestation, I think that is, which obviously isn't very useful at all. Damn you. Oh god, yeah. I knew that was coming. That was a very hard room to not get hit on, so goodbye Zealot Heart. Goodbye stat increase. It was nice knowing you both for the short time that I did. But well, you have been ejected from the run. Okay, thank god I got invincibility at that moment there. I don't think gravity shifts are very useful for us. Let's try and get some more money here. Obviously, money's been slightly problematic for us over the course of this run. Sometimes we get it, sometimes we don't. We've got two pennies now. Let's try and re-roll with two. Damn it. Oh, God, that was close. 30. Holy hell, we got two greens in a row. Camo undies, hell yes. Camo undies are actually... Ooh, wait, ooh. Camo undies. Oh, no, because we've got to use... we've got to move stitches by firing. Although, saying that, we could just do this. Kind of works. It's not... Honestly, it's not as good as I was hoping it'd be. I think... We're better off just using the camo undies for the uh, initial stat increase for the first few kills. I think that's far more advantageous in the in the long run. But you can kind of see what I was going for, right? Potato peeler doesn't do much for us there. We just played one of you. You can kind of see where I was going with that. Flight there made that a lot easier, thank you. Damn it, I should try to use the camo undies bonus there. This guy just will not stop. Telefragging, there you go. Stitches, get me in there. I think it's like we got a... You can do this. You can do this, I know you can. 
Why is it not opening it? There you go. It works. Took a bit of time, but it did it. Oh, God. This is such a cool run. Some really interesting just combinations of items between modded and non-modded as well. I always love that when there's like some random combinations and it's like, it's not just vanilla items or it's not just modded items. It's like, even when it's like multi-mod, it's like across mods. Ooh, we got another Zealot Heart. That's really nice. Oh, I probably shouldn't have picked that up now though. We'll grab that for more damage. We'll open this bad boy up. He's eternal as well. Yeah, I gotta say that Zealot Heart is not long for this world, unfortunately. Unfortunately, I was just about to say, using um, using our teleportation in this room is probably not going to be a great idea. I'll do it from time to time, but yeah, I'm going to get hit regardless because there's a lot of split shots going on. As you can clearly see, we've also got one of them bad boys. And we will move on down. Pretty good run to cops so far. Pretty good run to cops. I don't, I'm, I'm not entirely sure how this setup with our main DPS coming from cube battery and uh, stitches will kind of correlate into the fight with their uh, mother. But I think our base damage and base stats are actually pretty decent as well. Like they're not great, but I think they can carry us regardless. I really hate these enemies. Just zap the bitch. Still got hit. God damn it. Oh, yeah. I was just about to say, we are... How am I not meant to get poisoned there, game? I came in this room in search of health. And instead, I lost it. What hit me that time? God damn it. No. This has gone poorly. Okay, so I've, I've already lost the majority of my health on this floor. Decidedly not good. Uh, I, I have to say, now I'm not very confident. I was confident coming into this floor. But now, the tide has changed. Got no pennies to put in that bloody thing. Please be soul hearts. You bastard. That isn't a soul heart at all. Sometimes, I think one thing that's kind of hindering me a little bit is sometimes the um, edgeless cube battery just, like, refuses to target an enemy. If it targets an enemy, it does insane damage and it kills them quite quickly. But sometimes it's just like, mm, nah, maybe next week. I'm off today. Fuck you. Oh, ho, ho, ho. It teleported me to a really unfortunate location there. This can't be the right way, but... Oh, it is, it is. What have I done here? What have I done? Oh, Lord. I can tell you. Things ain't gonna go too well here. Yeah, I I have to say, not not hyper confident in the next floor, I'll be honest. I think we uh we're probably in for a loss against Mother. Which I wasn't expecting really, considering how well this was going, but this floor. Has really kicked. I think just full heart damage in general is just kind of kicking my ass because, like, a lot of my strategy relies on me being uh, quite up close and personal. And yeah, this floor's not really allowing for much of that. Why does that not work sometimes? Why did that not work? Speed up. God 
God damn. It's not looking good. We also went the wrong way. I need to take pills in case. Telepills is fine. What makes you larger isn't. I'm taking this lust just in case. I'm not giving up my strategy though. I realize it's my strategy that's getting me hit, but I will not give up on it. I told you. I will not give up on it, regardless of how bad it is for me. Oh, hello. We got pride, nice. And we got modeling clear, which is also really good. Close down all enemies by 50% makes them leave poison glass clouds. Could trinkets stop landing in the bloody doorways? It's very frustrating. I just... I want the pride flag. Where's the pride flag gone? There it is. Wait. Why am I unable to hold two trinkets at the moment? There's one. There's two. What the fuck? I have mum's purse. Why can't I hold two trinkets? How does... Oh, there you go. I just walk into it and it spawns it. Cool. Allows you to restart the room and guarantees a better room clear reward. Interesting. So if I do that and then... That was a better reward. You are correct. That reward was significantly better. Okay. We're at the point now where the shenanigans are uh, not really working for us. Why is this poison just staying here? Go away. It's been so long since you died. Could you, like, pop your head up at any point during time, please? Like, any single point in time? God damn you. Okay, let's go. That was, <laughs> mistakes were made there, holy shit. Okay, I really can't use it very much at all at this point. What I can do though is while I'm invincible, use the hell out of it. I'm not invincible anymore, careful. I've got to like, Drag him down here, then use it. Thank God I managed to get that going before then, before the, uh, the ball attack started. Yeah, I don't know how best to handle this, I'll be honest. Honestly, I think bombs are going to be a real saviour, mainly the ghost variety. So just try and use as many bombs as we can here. Okay, we're invincible again. I hate this attack. This attack's terrible, because for one, it's just very hard to dodge. For two, it lags the shit out of the game, which makes it doubly hard to dodge. That was the wrong way. Oh, no, it wasn't. Got him. Surprisingly so, we actually did it. That was not a bad victory. Not a bad one at all. And a very interesting and fun run. I hope you guys enjoyed this one, and I'll see you guys in the next one.